Whoa, whoa, look at this mess. Oh my goodness. Oh, my kitchen. Oh, oh, Caesar. Can you believe what a mess my kitchen is? Okay, why are you drinking all my coffee? Caesar! You, you could have at least done the dishes, Caesar, instead of just sitting there drinking coffee all morning. <laughs> Caesar! Now look what I have to do. I have to do all these dishes. Now, I, I realize some of the mess is mine, but I'm not the only one who lives here. All my wonderful children came and made a disaster and promptly left. Oh, you know what we need, Caesar? You know what would be great? If only we had those awesome elves that were in our story earlier today. If we had those elves, we could like snap our fingers and everything would be clean and tidy and we wouldn't have to do anything. Wouldn't that be great? Even the dog thinks that'd be great. I know, that'd be awesome. But we don't have elves, Caesar, so I guess we have to do the work ourselves. Unless... <gasps> Caesar! I've got a great idea! Caesar, we can make our own elf! And then we can snap our fingers and he would do all the work! Think we should do that? All right, let's go make an elf. Okay, Caesar, so I think this is going to be a great idea. Look at this cute little elf craft that I made. Isn't he adorable? Check that out, everybody. We can make our own elf, and then I don't have to do the dishes. Yay! I'm so excited. So how do we make our adorable little elf craft? Well, that's not difficult to do. That's right, big brain. All you need is a paper plate and some construction paper and some glue and some scissors and poof, instant elf. And here's the even better part. If you happen to live in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, you can come on down to the Her Memorial Library and you can pick up a pre-made elf making kit in the craft kit. Just ask one of the staff members for the craft kit and you can make your own elf. It'll be so fun. But if you don't live near us and you can't pick one up, you can still make the craft. It just takes a little bit more work. But in order to make our elf craft, like I said, you need your paper plate and you're going to need some um, peach colored paint so we can paint them. You're going to need to draw a hat design. You're going to need um, to draw the brim of your hat. So it looks like this when you're all done. And then you're gonna want to cut out the hat out of construction paper, like so. And you're going to also need to cut out his little shirt piece. Um, you can just cut this out on a half sheet of any color construction paper you like. I went with yellow. And we just drew like an um, upside down crown shape. And then we cut that out for his shirt. Um, last but not least, you're going to need some hair. So we have some brown construction paper that we can cut triangles out for hair. And we need some ears. So you're going to want to draw on some sturdy cardstock paper, kind of this leaf-like shape. So this makes his ears. And you're going to also want to make sure that you paint them the same color that you paint your paper plate so that they are the same matching ears. I went ahead and I punched out a tissue paper, some pink circles for his cheeks. If you don't have pink tissue paper, you can just use marker or crayon or whatever else you like. And then last but not least in our bag of goodies here, we've got a couple of googly eyes and we have some colored pom-poms. Do you like pom-pom Caesar? No, you don't eat them. Okay, well see we can put pom-poms on here. And then if you wanna decorate the edge of your shirt, you can use glitter glue. And if you don't have glitter glue, you can use everybody's favorite glitter. Mm. But if you use glitter, I highly recommend that you put something underneath it, like a newspaper or something. And then you just want to dribble a dot of glue on each of the edges. And then when you shake the glue on top of it, let it sit for a good day. So it's nice and hard. And then you can shake it off and dispose of your glitter without making a terrific mess. Because glitter is one of those things that just never goes away. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. You want to take your paper plate, like we said, and you want to paint it a peach color. Um, you can make it any kind that you like. Just make sure that it's uniform and take your ears that you have drawn and cut out and paint them also. Make sure you paint them so that they're facing opposites, right? We want them like this, right, Caesar? Yeah. Okay, well, you want them so that they are um, facing the opposite. Otherwise, you're going to end up with ears that look kind of funny like that. So you want to make sure that they are um, equal but opposite. And so we've got our pre-painted plate here. The kits that come with the library have already got all this stuff painted for you, so you don't have to do that step. And then, um, then we just have to start gluing. 
I'm going to take our hair first and we're going to cut it into little triangles. I found that if you fold your construction paper in half, then you can just kind of make nice little triangles. You wanna cut Caesar? No, huh? Okay. So we just wanna cut out some triangles here like so. And we wanna make them kind of odd shapes a little bit because it's supposed to be hair. And hair, as we've learned in quarantine, is not cooperative. It doesn't look nice after it hasn't been cut for months on end. And then you just want to cut your triangles apart so you have lots of hair for your elf. You can use any color that you like. Do you like brown, Caesar? You prefer black, huh? Oh, well, I'm sorry, I didn't have any black, so we're gonna have to go with brown. I'm sorry. You can do red, you can do yellow, you can do, I'm sorry, don't hurt yourself, Caesar. <laughs> you can do any color that you like. I have brown hair, so I went with brown. Sorry. My elf, make your own. Okay, so then take your glue and um, you want to make sure that you have got um, the top of your of your elf's head here um, painted nice and dry. Don't put your glue on until your paint is dry if you're painting it. And then we're just gonna stick your brown triangle pieces on like so. It's going to go under the hat so they don't have to be perfect. They can be as messy or as sloppy as you like. Maybe your elf has got a lot of hair. Maybe you have a bald elf. You can do a bald elf too. Make it any way you like. And then we'll put your hair on like so. And then we're gonna put our hat on. So after you've taken your, your hat piece and you've cut it out on construction paper, you want to take your brim piece that you've also cut out and I made this out of the same paper that I made the ears out of. We just left it unpainted. And you want to glue this to your hat. And very good, Caesar. Get a good shot in there, PC. And then we're just gonna glue the brim on like so. Like that. And then we're gonna glue it on top of our elf's hair. All right, and there we go for our elf's hair. You can tuck some of it under the hat if it doesn't quite all fit. And there's that. Pretty simple, huh, Caesar? Now we have to flip our elf on his face because at this point we have to glue on his ears and his shirt. On this part, you're just gonna glue on the edge of your plate and you want to glue um, along the edges down here and over here and then just glue your ears on you want to glue the long side of your ears onto the plate like so with the tips of it sticking up and then for the shirt same thing we're just going to come down here on the bottom and put plenty of glue on here so we can get that shirt to stick and like so and then you can flip your elf back over whoops his ear fell off oh no good thing your ears don't fall off right caesar yeah it'd be hard to hear me and then oh we made a gooey mess okay well that's okay it goes with my messy kitchen the elf can clean that up next too right okay so you're gonna want to let this dry a little bit obviously so that his pieces stop falling off and then there you are the next thing you want to do is glue your eyes on if you don't have googly eyes and you don't have a craft bag from our library you can also use white and black construction paper or you can just use marker markers are great um, help you draw your face on your elf and if you want to draw eye draw eyebrows you can um, Put them close together like I did on our first one, or you can put them far apart on the second one that I'm doing here. That's entirely up to you. And then you can do a backwards C for his nose. And I made it a little bit thicker here as I came around. And then you kind of want to do a half smile for your elf. You want to come all the way up. And again, you can make that a little bit thicker um, so that it stands out. Elves can be very impish and mischievous, which means that they can be fun and silly and sometimes naughty. 
So we're gonna give him kind of a, a silly kind of grin here where he's gonna be kind of happy. And then we can go ahead and with your cheeks, you don't need a lot of glue at all, just a little bit to put here by his smile. And on this one, over here. Oop, I'm dripping glue everywhere. I'm such a mess, Caesar. And there's his cute little face. Now the last thing that we need is to put his pom-pom on. Um, you can pick any color to coordinate with your hat and shirt if you'd like. You can even get glittery pom-poms if you want. And if you're doing this craft around the holidays, you can make them red and green and make them a Christmas elf. But I think those are a little bit different. And I don't think these are like the elves that you find in Lord of the Rings either, Caesar. I'm sorry. I know. Such a disappointment. Okay. So then what I said with the glitter for his um, shirt, just take your glitter glue and you can put a little dab of glitter glue on the edge of each thing to make them sparkle a little bit. Make them stand out and shine. And there we are. Just like that. And again, if you don't have glitter glue, you can just use regular glue and regular glitter. You can also use little jingle bells if you have those in your craft supplies. Um, and if you don't have anything like that, you can also cut out little pieces of colored paper um, or maybe some sparkly paper, even tin foil, and make up little tin foil balls to glue on. And that makes them pop out. And there you have your elf, right? What do you think, Caesar? Think he's cute? No comment. <laughs> Did you fall asleep, really? All right. Well, if you don't feel like doing dishes, and I don't feel like doing dishes, then we're going to have to get our little elf friends to do the dishes for us, yes? All right, so here we go. You know how to do this, Caesar? Okay, you have to close your eyes. You close your eyes. Okay, good. And then you can't snap your paws, so I'll snap our paws. Okay, I'll snap. It's fine. Just close your eyes. I'm sorry. Okay, you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Well, Caesar... I don't think that that worked because my kitchen is still an absolute mess. Oh, I guess we're going to have to do the dishes ourselves. Or we could always ask Pirate Larry because Pirate Larry showed up if my elves didn't work. <sighs> well, I guess it's time to do my dishes myself. Or what's this? What's this? I have teenage elves. My teenage elves have come to help and do my dishes. Oh, yay. Thank you, teenage elves. What? Really? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.